Today's video, thanks to the folks over at Think Geek, we're going to be having a look at the Stranger Things Evolution of the Demogorgon, the three in one nesting plushies. Those unfamiliar with the term nesting plushies, they're actually plushed versions of nesting dolls, which were their original collectible. Nesting dolls were made generally out of wood and allowed someone to open up the top half of the doll, revealing a smaller version of the doll inside. You could repeat that same step, taking the doll out, opening up the top half of it, and having a smaller doll inside. The same thing applies here, instead of actually dolls, you're simply opening up a Demogorgon to find its earlier version, earlier state, inside. By the way, in case you're wondering how big the largest of the Demogorgons are, even though it's technically the same one, we'll put the tape measure right up to the top of his head. Measuring it off in inches, you're looking at 9.7. In centimeters, you're looking at 24.8. This clever creation is actually taken from Stranger Things Season 2, in which Dustin finds a Demogorgon and calls him D'Artagnan, or Dart for short. Although when he finds little darts, what he finds is this little creature here, not quite certain what it actually will be, until later on we find out, of course, it's growing up to a much larger size. So in the smallest version of darts, you've got yourself a little happy face, and I think that's really cute. All of the three different forms of dart are soft and very plushy. This one happens to also have a tail. All of them also include a little tag which is happens to, say, happens to say Stranger Things, and it comes to us also from the folks over at Funko. Now, like I said, it's a very soft. There's not really a whole lot happening with smaller version of Dart, but much like in the Season 2 episode, Dart will continue to grow throughout the course of the season until he gets to something like this, and it almost bears a little bit of a resemblance closer to a larger size tadpole just before it becomes like a turtle. Here on the side, we've got some nice additional printing that's added to the side of Dart. This side stays pretty vacant, but this side's got some nice printing. I like that on the side. And it's got the little underbelly, still complete with a full face. Still sort of cute, isn't it? Well, you can go ahead and open up the second evolution of Dart, just like that. Kind of like a little wallet. And you're going to take the smaller version of Dart and tuck him in there. The smaller Dart into the medium or the next evolution of Dart is a little bit more trickier to kind of get in there because there's really not a whole lot of space to be had. The flaps on either side are, are Velcroed, or at least one side is the hooks of the Velcro, and then you can just kind of fold that over, giving us the medium Dart. And maybe really, you don't necessarily need to put them in one another like you would with a nesting doll. You could really keep all three of them in their, in their states on their own. So medium-sized dart, like I said, it's got little flippers, a little back sort of tadpole tail, and relatively cute. Still not something that's going to do much harm. Or is it? Then you get the larger version of dart, by this point now incorporating a little bit more in the way of teeth, and something that you probably should stay a little bit more clear of. Uh, dart's got this larger version, has the Velcro opening on the back of the head. And then you can simply take the medium-sized version of Dart and just sort of cram it in there. It would have been nice if actually the Velcro wrapped further down than just the top of the head. But still, it allows you to fit the medium version of Dart inside. Kind of have to get the Velcro kind of all around it just to make sure it doesn't get caught. And it then closes in on itself, creating a bit of a seam line here making sure everything gets sort of tucked all in there. There we go, there we go. And you have your largest version of Dart here in a very nice violet purple. Here you've still got the additional little decoration, the little printing on the side of its body. And it looks really cute, I have to admit. The top head is very squishy, though hollow, yes, because of course it's gonna have to fit the second 
evolution or de-evolution of darts, and then the smallest all kind of fit inside the melon of the largest dart, but it's neat that you can kind of keep everything stored in place. Again, like I said, this is now the point where you probably would be a little bit more cautious. Previous already to this, I mean, Dustin is looking at this and realizing something is, something's a little uh, uncertain, a little, un little uh, unnerving, I guess, if you will, uh, from the little tiny dart. And of course, as the Demogorgon continues to grow, then eventually we get ourselves the Demodog, also coined by uh, young little Dustin. But it's very cute, it's very soft. It does have some nice stitching in which they've incorporated some teeth, a couple little fangs there. And of course this part right here would just fan right out. This one doesn't, this one still stays relatively cute. Relatively cute. Pending of course it killing everybody in the lab. Still for the time being though, a relatively cute little version of Dart. Those interested in picking up Dart in his three different forms can swing on over to Think Geek. Think Geek currently has this one in stock, along with some other Stranger Thing items, other novelties, collectibles, and even figures. I'll put the link down below to Think Geek if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself. In the meantime, today we were having a look at the Funko Stranger Things, the evolution of the Demogorgon. This is the three-in-one nesting plushie. Now, don't be a stranger you see what I did right there. Don't be a stranger if you're new to this channel. Hit that little subscribe button down below as more videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.